Welcome to Mr. Derek Flips Out. Alright, what am I flipping out about tonight? Well, I'm flipping out about multiplying mixed numbers. You already know how to multiply fractions, and today I'm going to show you how to multiply mixed numbers. So before we get started, let's check out our mission objective over here. Today, I will know how to multiply mixed numbers by converting them to improper fractions. Read it with me, and I mean really read it. I will know how to multiply mixed numbers by converting them to improper fractions. Okay, so it's all about converting them to improper fractions, and that's how we can multiply mixed numbers easily. Now, before we get started, make sure you get that piece of paper or a notebook and a pencil. If you need to put me on pause right now, that's fine. Go make sure you get those things. All right, hopefully you got them. You're ready to go. Okay, let's take a problem with mixed numbers. Here's one. How about three and one half times two and three fourths? All right. At this point, I've got a mixed number times a mixed number. Can't do anything with this. I can't. I've got to convert these to improper fractions before I can multiply. So the way we do this is we take the bottom number, multiply it times the whole number, equals 6, and add it to the top number. So 2 times 3 equals 6, plus 1 is 7, and your denominator does not change. All right, I just converted this mixed number to a fraction. Now, multiplication stays the same. Now I need to convert this one. 4 times 2 equals 8 plus 3. 8 plus 3 is 11 over 4. Denominator stays the same. All right, I'm good to go. Now I have an improper fraction and an improper fraction. I can do this. 7 times 11, I'm multiplying my nooms here, my numerators, is 77. Now I multiply my denoms. 2 times 4 is 8. All right. This is almost there. You're almost there. But remember, you have to go that extra step in simplifying your improper fraction. You can do this in a couple different ways. You can actually write the whole thing out and you can put 8 into 77 if you want to do it like the long way. Or you can just think, okay, how many times is 8 going to go into 77? Well, I'm thinking multiples. I'm thinking it goes 9 times. 9 times 8 is 72. 77 minus 72 is 5 and your denominator is 8. Your answer is 9 and 5 eighths. Okay, with this type of math, with fractions, it's all about the steps. And you have to get all the way from here to here. And it's not hard, but you got to follow all the steps. All right, let's try another one that you might find. You might find one such as this. 4 and 2 thirds times 4. All right. So you have, actually in this case, you have a mixed number times a whole number. What do I do? Well, I still need two improper fractions. So I start over here. 3 times 4 equals 12. 12 plus 2 is 14. That's my new numerator. My denominator stays the same. It's 3. Okay. And I'm multiplying. Still good there. And what do I do with the whole number? All I do is put a 1 underneath. Easy. 4 with a 1 underneath. 4 over 1. Now, I'm ready to multiply. Multiply my nooms. 4 times 10 is 40. 4 times 4 is 16. So it's 56. 3 times 1. That was easy. 3. How many times will we go into it? Well, let's see. 3, 26. So this one is going to be... How many times are we here? 18. Okay. 18 times 3 is 54. 18 and 2 thirds. 15 take, or 56 take away 54 is 2. 18 and 2 thirds is our answer. All right. Remember, it's all about the steps. You've got to get to that simplified 
mixed number as your answer. All right, let's try one more. All right, how about this one? You might find one that's very easy. How about three and one eighth times two thirds? All right, in this case, you have a mixed number times a fraction. Your fraction's all good. You don't actually have to do anything over there. But I do need to convert this to a mixed number. 8 times 3 equals 24, plus 1 is 25 over 8. All right. Times 2 thirds. I didn't have to change that one. It was already in fraction form. I'm good to go. I multiply my nooms. 25 times 2 is 50. 8 times 3 is 24. Almost done. One more step. Simplify your fraction. You must simplify. 24 goes into 50. 2 times. Put it down here. 2 times 24 is 48. Alright, I'm almost there. 50 take away 48 is 2 over 24. Am I done? Almost. Almost. Is there a number that goes into both 2 and 24 evenly? There is. It's 2. 2 divided by 2, 24 divided by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, 24 divided by 2 is 12. So your answer, your complete and perfect answer is 2 and 1 twelfth. Alright, take a look at these again if you want to go back and watch them again. That's great because I know I moved a little bit fast for you. It's kind of like stuff we already know how to do, but I added another step to it, so it's all about the steps. Now, let's read our mission objective one more time before I let you go. Hopefully you figured this out. I will know how to multiply mixed numbers by converting them to improper fractions. All right. Tomorrow we're going to do even more of this, so make sure you are ready to teach someone else how to do this and you're ready to show me your work that you did tonight. If you need to do it again, go ahead and watch it again and write some stuff down. Otherwise, have a good night. See you tomorrow.